Uh, let's get started with this uh, topic 1.1 review of AP pre-calculus. So here they're talking about for each of the following, we have to find an interval where it has the following characteristics. For example, in question number one, they are saying on what intervals is fx increasing? Uh, we know very well that increasing means it's a climbing function, right? And what is the meaning of a climbing function? Climbing function just means that uh, with increasing values of x, y should also be increasing. Right, that's what it means by the climbing function. Uh, it's recommended to, in fact, it's a strong recommendation to always see the increasing decreasing while going from left to right, right? Not from right to left, otherwise you will answer exactly opposite. So uh, for while going from left to right, where do we see that the function is going up or climbing? I think it starts from here and it goes all the way till this point. So this is the increasing interval and decreasing is, uh, sorry, they're not asking decreasing, they're asking concave down. So let me come to that in a minute. Uh, increasing is, as we can see, this is negative one, negative two, negative three. So that's from negative three comma, I think this is one, two, three, right? This is three, negative three to three, that is the increasing interval. Now on what open intervals is fx concave down? So concave down is the frowning phase uh, function, right? So uh, we can see clearly that this is a smiling face and it looks like uh, till this point it was smiling and then it turns into a frowning face function or downward cup if you want to call it that way. So um, this is where it is facing downwards or uh, a frowning face function. So this is our answer for concave down. It starts from with the x value of zero and goes all the way to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 7. So this is our answer 0 to 7. All right. Uh, here we need to find decreasing and concave. Okay, decreasing. So decreasing is with increasing values of x. Uh, y is decreasing. So it it, it is like uh, this one. This is decreasing till this point, then increasing, then decreasing all the way till here, and then increasing again. Uh, there are arrows over here, which means that it is going all the way in either direct, uh, in, in both directions. So it starts from negative infinity, uh, goes all the way till this point, which is negative one, negative two, and negative three over here. Union uh, starts from zero then, zero comma one, two. I think this is two, right? Yeah, yeah, two. All right, uh, concave, right, in part B, they are talking about when is it concave up? So concave up is a smiling face function and a smiling face is over here till I think, sorry, till I think this point, that's where it changes to frowning face and then it is again smiling over here. Uh, so I'm gonna say that this is negative infinity to negative one, right? This is negative one, union, this is again one, one, two, infinity. That's the answer for concave up. All right, uh, let's see about this one. So in this restricted interval, in what, uh, on what interval is h increasing? So once again, increasing is just, uh, we know uh, by this time increasing is like climbing function. So it looks like it is like always climbing, right? Because uh, if we start from negative five, wherever it is, it's just continuously uh, with increasing value of x, y is climbing on and on and on. And here also y is climbing on and on and on, right? with increasing values of x, you can see that it is going up, it's climbing. The only thing that you need to uh, keep in mind is that this is a vertical asymptote, which is at x equal to two. So you need to include that from your answer. So you will say that the answer is negative uh, five. Negative five is definitely included because you can see that three, four, five, negative five is two, three, four, five, somewhere over here, which is definitely increasing and this, this is, uh, included in the in, included in the interval. However, you have to break it at two, and then again start from two and go all the way till seven. And seven is also included because that's again where the function is climbing. Uh, where is it concave up? So concave up is smiling face, and I think this is the only smiling face, right? This yellow one because this is clearly frowning face. So this is smiling face, which means that uh, 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 in its entirety, uh, only this much is allowed. So I'm gonna include negative five in my answer and I'm gonna 
put two, but two should be excluded because that's a vertical asymptote, right? That's not a part of the domain. So how can I include that? That we have to exclude that over here. Right, over here on what interval is k both increasing and concave down? So let's mark the increasing interval first. Increasing is climbing, climbing is this much till here, then decreasing and then increasing again. And then uh, in this yellow interval, where is it concave down? So obviously this is concave up, right? Because this is a smiling face. Uh, this is smiling face. So this is concave up and they are interested in concave down. And clearly this is uh, frowning face. So this is the concave down. So my answer is, um, uh, this is I think again seven or negative one, two, three, four, five, actually six. So that's negative six and then uh, uh, one, two, three, negative three, right? Negative three over here. So negative six to negative three. Um, uh, that's where it is increasing as well as concave down. Where it is decreasing and concave up, okay, we can do that. So decreasing is the remaining function that we didn't highlight. So this is the decreasing function and they want concave up. So clearly this portion is concave down because that's frowning face. So uh, till this point, right, this is frowning face and this is smiling face. So this is concave up. So this is coming, this is from zero to one, to three. This is from zero to three. Uh, that's the final answer over here. All right, multiple choice question. A graph of MX is shown above. Which of the following best describes MX? It is increasing and concave up. Well, definitely it is increasing. It is climbing clearly. So it has to be increasing. So decreasing options are eliminated. But it is a frowning phase, right? Because you can see that it's like, of course, that's frowning, like downward curve. So it has to be concave down. Clearly, the answer choice is option B. That's pretty straightforward, I think. All right, uh, this is a sort of a free response. We need to graph these actually. So P is increasing on the interval this and decreasing here, concave up here, concave down here. We need to graph. Uh, okay, my suggestion is first off, always make these uh, mark these points. For example, it's negative five, right? So mark negative five here. One, two, three, four, negative five is here. Then mark one, one is already marked. Then mark negative two, which is over here. Then that's it. So now let's make an, let's, let's analyze this interval by interval. For example, let's analyze what's happening for, um, uh, let's have, uh, okay, less than minus five, nothing is happening, right? Because they are only interested when it starts from negative five. So uh, the first interval that I'm interested in is what is happening between negative five and negative two. Um, between negative five and negative two, we can see that the function is concave up, right? Concave up. And uh, between negative 5 and negative 2 because obviously negative 5 to 1 the function is increasing so I can say that here the function is increasing here the function is also increasing and here the function is decreasing that's the these are the attributes and then from negative 5 to negative 2 the function is concave up and negative 2 to infinity the infinity it is concave down all right, so increasing and concave up, how am I gonna make it? I think I'm gonna make it like this, if you agree with me, because this is upward cup and increasing. Then how am I going to make an increasing and downward cup? I'll just switch down in the downward direction here, something like this. So this is a downward cup yet increasing. And now decreasing and concave down, it is already concave down. So I think I'm just gonna uh, make something like a turning so that it, takes a turn and goes down over here all the way till positive infinity because that's what they are saying uh, and on the left side it is uh, not included so I'm going to make an open circle because negative 5 is not a part of the function it doesn't look like it is a part of the function so I'm just gonna uh, draw something like that I hope this makes sense uh, now let's work on the next one feel free to pause and try uh, this is 3 uh, this is negative 5, so negative 5 is I think here and uh, 0 is already here and uh, 1 to infinity, infinity is here, okay. 
and by the way this is uh, going from uh, starting from negative infinity so negative infinity to 3 it is decreasing so in this interval it is decreasing 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 and then 3 to infinity it is increasing so there you go concave up in negative 5 to 0 so this is concave up for this interval and um, 0 to infinity it is concave down so concave down all the way uh, all right so they have not really given anything about what happens less uh, about with concavity when it is less than negative 5 that's fine then and probably we are free, free to choose then if they have not really given anything so let's make uh, a decreasing function uh, so I'll just keep concave up here as well. So I'm just gonna make I'm just gonna make a decreasing function. I will put an arrow here. So decreasing function and concave up function will look something like this: decreasing and concave down. Uh, uh, sorry, de decreasing and concave up. I misspoke. Decreasing and concave up. Uh, then I will keep the concave up, and I, I I will again keep decreasing. So keep decreasing with the concave up, something like that. I again have to decrease, okay, well, that's weird. So I'm just gonna go something like this. And this is where it is still, it is still decreasing, but now it is concave down. So it is gonna change something to this so that it is now concave down. And here it needs to change to concave up. So it will go something like this. And then, sorry, again, I misspoke, it's concave down. So let us concave down, but uh, it has to turn to uh, an increasing function. So an increasing and a concave down function is, I think, going to look uh, something like this. And yeah, it has to go all the way till positive infinity. So I'm going to make an arrow over here. Right. I hope this makes sense. All right. Let's talk about this one. Uh, uh, use the graph of h to find the open intervals where h has the following behavior increasing. Okay, I think we can do that. I think you can also try this. Increasing is like this one and this one, like climbing function. So I'm going to write that open interval negative 2 to 0, union 4 to 7. Uh, decreasing function will be uh, uh, going down, descending. And this is clearly descending in nature. So we are going to say that it is negative 4 to negative 2 union 0 to all the way till I think. If we need to break up at 2 as well, because, uh, you know, the function type is changing over here. Uh, this is a parabola and then this is another parabola and this is an open interval. So I'm going to I'm going to change at 2 and then I will say 2 to 4 as well. All right, uh, concave up smiling face function. So a smiling face is going to be, uh, I think only this one, right? Yeah, this is the only smiling face function. So that's going to be two to seven. Okay. And now they're interested in increasing and concave down. Okay, well, increasing and concave down. We have already highlighted increasing earlier. We already did highlight, right? Yeah, increasing is from here to here. We already, um, have it from negative 2 to 0 as well from here. Now concave down. It's clearly this is concave up, right? So the concave down function uh, is between these two options is only this one. So it's from negative 2 to 0 when it is increasing as well as concave down. All right, now they're talking about decreasing and concave up. So decreasing is a negative 4 to negative 2 and then this one and then this one and concave up so clearly this is this is neither concave up nor concave down this is frowning face so this is concave down and this is smiling face so this is concave up which is from two to four two to four right that is the concave up as well as decreasing function Right, so the last question, uh, the graph of case, and again, we, we need to draw it out, right? So let's do that. Uh, first of all, blindly just mark these points so that oh, fortunately all the points are marked for us. So I'm just gonna uh, say that from negative four to one, the function is increasing. 
uh, that's what they say and 5 to 7 as well the function is increasing okay great decreasing in 1 to 5 okay you can uh, highlight that and this is decreasing additionally k is concave up in 3 to 6 3 to 6 it is concave up and concave down in negative 4 to 3 negative 4 to 3 it is concave down and 6 to 7 as well it is concave down okay let's try to draw it increasing and concave down uh, in this interval right this is where it is increasing and concave down so increasing and concave down uh, will most likely look something like this then i have to switch to decreasing but still i have to remain concave down concave down and decreasing so concave down and decreasing will take a turn here so i'm just gonna flatten this out over here let me clear this up so it will go something like this and then take a turn till this point where it is concave down then concave up uh, but still decreasing till five so it's gonna change and it will look something like this so concave up but decreasing and then increasing and concave down function so increasing and concave down function will look something like this uh, oh i have to end at seven so let me just restrict this at seven so this is how our function should look like between negative four and seven uh, that's from five to seven it is increasing as well as concave down so uh, that's all we have for unit uh, one section 1.1 review guys if you have any questions or doubts in whatever I have covered, feel free to post it in the comment section. If you have any of your own questions that uh, 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 that you're unable to solve, feel free to, uh, well, send me an email and I'll see what I can do about it. Take care. Bye-bye.